What is up everyone today on Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures. We just dropped this one off and now we are going uh, 40 miles away. And then this one is 100 miles. They say pick up at 11 p.m. Latest delivery at 5 a.m. I'm gonna go there early. We're gonna see what happens. I'm sure that I'll be able to pick it up. Shout out Hipex Logistics, my favorite dispatching company. And uh, just like literally this, this set of runs has been boom, boom, boom. I've been talking to people I've helped that are on the road and they're boom, boom, boom. Um, there's certain areas that are still not the best, but I mean, it's been picking up the last couple weeks, um, as you guys see. So, anyways, let's get on the road. Let's. I'm gonna go there. We'll see if they'll let me pick it up. I'll, I'll update you guys once we get there. It's only 40 miles, 40 miles, 40 miles down the road. So let's go. We just arrived on site. It is 6:26 Eastern, and uh, oh, I've been wanting to say the dates on these because I'm doing them like where they come out like a normal person now instead of six in a day. Uh, June 1st um so anyways it's supposed to it's pick up at 11 p.m. and then deliver direct but it's 626 Eastern I like just advice for people getting into this what I do is I go up I say hey I'm here to pick something up um but if it's not ready that's fine I'm super early I say it like that um just checking you know that I'm and just checking in that I'm here and you know I'm here for this and then sometimes they'll be like yeah we'll load you up sometimes they'll be like yeah actually we can wrap that up in an hour sometimes they'll be like yeah 11 is the only time we can do and then i'm like okay that's fine i'll just go chill in my van just you never would want to go in there and be like what's up because that's that's weird you know like hey fill me uh, fill my van but anyways i'm gonna go in there we'll see if i can get loaded early if not i will report to you We are all loaded up, which is freaking awesome. It is 6.51 Eastern time. I was supposed to be loaded at 11. I just went in there, I said, hey, I know I'm really early. And she's like, whoa, you are? And then they were like, oh, we don't know. Uh, they were like sort of wigging out. And then the forklifter, the other lady, they were both ladies. She was a little like stress semen and I pulled her in. I made her happy, I gave her the smile. And just was like, yeah, it's all good. Like, and then they were sort of wigging out. And then they said, I don't know if this goes. Like, uh, I thought we were going with a, a different driver. It was funny. I was like, I don't know. But then it said three pieces on my thing. And then I was like, ooh, because it came out one pallet. I was getting ready because I can fit three pallets in sideways. Thank God, because she was not the best forklift driver. Not hating, but just, I'm so grateful. But I'm just saying, like, she barely could get the one in. It was, like, sort of stressing her out. But... I can put three in sideways. So I was gonna get ready to get my dolly everything out, you know, to fit it. Cause that's all I have to do is take my dolly out. Make sure my big strap is out to unload, but I'm so happy. Let's go. Because getting those night runs are fine. I love, I'm cool with it, whatever. But this was only a hundred miles, but still like it throws off, you know, a little bit of sleep and I, I'm used to it, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's nice then I can, yep. Anyways, I'm gonna go get strapped up, let's go. So we all loaded up, strapped up. Let's get on the road. Let's go. That was clutch. That was cool. Yeah, good to go. Good to go. They were acting a little like shocked at first, and then turn they, right onto Elm Street. And then they figured it out, and it was cool. Like I kept saying, I said it more than once to. I said it's all good if it's like you know. I don't. I'm not trying to you know. And they were like, no, it's cool. But the thing that is cool about being cargo van, because trust me, I was a straight truck driver, and I've driven some fifth wheel. Not a lot, but. What I'm saying is like, cause I've driven fifth wheel when I was training too. And uh, like when you, like when you're getting loaded, it's it's an epic ordeal. But when you're just a cargo van, a lot of times you can slide in there. I had one guy who's like, you gotta wait in the line for all the fifth wheels. I was like, I'm just one pallet. And then he was like, fine. And like, he was cussing and freaking out. And then they did it real quick. That's the thing too though. There is that advantage. Sometimes you go and they're just like, all right, we'll load you. Like, that's what I mean. Like, but if you're a straight truck or a fifth wheel, but something people don't take into account and time is money. See, we got these two runs quick today. Now I'm gonna get to the next one at 9.30, but it says it's closed. So I'm wondering if this was a situation where they said pick it up at 11, 
because it literally says closed. And sometimes there are like an open, uh, you know, receiving, but if they're not, I'll just sleep on site for this one for sure. Cause I'm not going to go like search for a rest area at that point. But anyways, I'm super stoked. So we're going to go get to this drop off. And this one was 750 pounds. It said three units. So I was getting ready, like I said, but in it, this one's 750 pounds. It says three units on it. So three pieces, so quantity three, so on the boxes. So let's go, let's get out of here. Well, I am on location, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I backed up by the pole door and I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. It said that they were closed till six, but what's funny is uh, drop off says 5 a.m., but I think they do that stuff to uh, assure you're there, but I'm, I'm gonna set my alarm for six. If they're not open, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like sitting up from, you know, I can get some decent Z's then in and yeah, go to an area. This was a good run, double run today, or two runs today. Good money, but <clears throat> on the way here there was a it was a super small roads i take no tolls so it takes you weird ways sometimes but dude there was one guy in like a fucking farm field like walking up towards the road and he looked like he was either dragging something or fucking carrying something i don't know what he was doing in the middle of the fucking or not middle of the night it's uh 902 eastern but it was just a little weird to me what are you up to bud so i'm gonna get some rest i don't do this much sleep on site but I'm gonna do it because like the the nearest rest stop is like a whatever stop. It's like 15, 16 minutes away, but I don't know. I'm debating going there or not. You know what I mean? Cause like, you know, what's the point? It's just nicer. I don't like sleeping places where like, you know, I didn't get approval, but we'll see. I'm still thinking about it, but either way, we're gonna get this bed set up. I'll let you guys know what I decide. Uh, good morning, I wake up, there's a lot of people here. It's time to get unloaded. Whew. Well, there we go, we're all unloaded. I didn't even put my freaking bed away. Checking my security cameras at home. I do that every morning, every night. I'd get those if you're on the road. Um, so anywho, fucking, I didn't like that guy. So I wake up, he's beaming his forklift lights, like, bright in the back. I'm like, okay, put away some of my stuff, kept my bed out, just because I'm like, let me get out of here. Because he was, like, super close to me. They had one semi-truck there, you know, not where I was at the dock, and so I'm like, okay. And I get out, and he, I'm like, hello, and he says no, no words to me. And some, I think you should be receptive so that you can discuss what it is and stuff and whatever though, dude. And then he unloaded me. I said, thank you. He didn't respond still. He signed. And then I said, thank you. And then he went, yep. Like really quiet. Like, I don't know. That was just weird. I would not beam my lights into someone's van when they're sleeping. Like I just had woke up though. And I look and it's like, boom, right in my, my grill. Like, whoa, dude. Okay. I'm coming. But anyways, glad to get that dropped off. That dude was, that was strange. But like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, that's cool. Thanks for rocking with me. Hope you got something out of this. Now I'm going to shoot over to a gas station, get some coffee, and then I'll kick it off from there, see where I'm going. Mm -hmm. 